Hello, I'm Charlie Blackwall. I'm the Head of Electronics at Aston Martin Aramco Formula One team. There's so many opportunities that we have uh, to use AI technology for optimization, um, improving our efficiency. Um, it's, it's really, really exciting what we're doing um, at the moment. So on the car, we're already using um, ARM technology. Um, there's various different sensors, interfaces, um, power distribution systems that we've designed using ARM-based ARM chips. Um, this is something that we've been doing for a long time. Um, we know how they work, they're reliable, um, and we have confidence in them. What I'm really excited about moving forward is um, using that expertise and knowledge that obviously the automotive team at ARM already have um, to, to develop these systems and use higher performing processes, give us more computational power on the car so that we can do our analysis on the car rather than post-processing and that will give us the answers in real time rather than having that, uh, you know, the data coming back, having to post-process it, do that analysis. If we can move that onto the car because we can use high performing chips, that saves time. Again, efficiency, it improves performance more rapidly. Uh, going in the right direction, making sure that our, um, our correlation between the CFD and the wind tunnel and the car is, is there um, and we have to validate that and it's very, very time consuming. So there's so much opportunity to use AI to sort of streamline that process, use that computing power um, that's available um, to, to make it more efficient. You know, we could spend hundreds of hours doing this but with the right algorithms and with the right platforms we can, we can cut that time right down. And how does that affect the performance? It means that we can iterate more quickly, we can get there quicker, we can get the performance on the car more rapidly and therefore be more competitive at each race. So we've got to be efficient. AI is going to be really, really important to us. You know, if we can cut down you know, the time, you know, the analysis time from you know, 100 hours down to 10 hours, that's huge. And again, that, that just means that our development process is going to be so much quicker. And it's not just within CFD, it's within the wind tunnel as well. You know, we use um, uh, the type of uh, sensing equipment that we use is prone to errors. You know, you can get um, uh, discrepancies in the data and we can use AI to filter that out. And at the moment, we'd have to get somebody to spend hours going through it and selecting areas and say, ignore this, don't use that. And that's very, very time consuming. But we can train a model to do that for us. And that means that, you know, that all of that time is saved that person's resource can then be used for um, doing something not more useful but more effective and more efficient and again delivering that performance, making the car go faster. I'm really excited about um, the future partnership with ARM. Um, it's not just on the AI platform but it's also the hardware. So at the moment we're developing new instrumentation systems um, that are going to deliver performance to the car. So um, we're looking at new uh, thermal camera systems that are looking at the tyres in real time, giving tyre surface temperature data through the ECU. That goes back to our telemetry system, it goes into our models, and then the guys in the strategy department can then use that for determining when we're going to pit stop, when is the optimal time to pit stop. Um, and then obviously that is race performance. And similarly, uh, using that data to then um, model to model the tyres better um, so that we can understand how they're wearing, what the grip is, if they're going to have graining and these sorts of uh, um, sort of non-linear things that are very very difficult to predict. This year our average pit stop time is around two and a half seconds. If we can bring that down to two seconds using ARM technology that's a 20% improvement. That's huge. Um, so using ARM technology we're bringing in this improvement and also if you look at that during the race as well, half a second is the difference between two positions. If it's during, you know, if you take that qualifying, that could be 10 positions on the grid. So half a second is an enormous amount of time in Formula One. And if we can save that using ARM technology, that is a massive performance gain for us. But we can't optimize the setup without having a good tire model. So at the moment, how do we do that? You know, we've built models, we have a lot of experience, but they're so difficult to parameterize. Um, it, it's very time consuming to get it to the place it needs to be. AI offers us uh, an opportunity to streamline that process, is to go, you know, go through you know, hundreds, thousands of iterative cycles and train the model to come up with the parameters so that it fits the data that we've already collected. And again, it's about streamlining our efficiency. So um, you know, we, can be, uh, we can get to where we need to go more quickly and then that leads to better simulation model, better uh, tyre model which lives in the driver simulator then we can do more realistic simulations with the driver, set the car up, so then we get to the race 
the car is ready to go. We don't, you know, we've got very little time at the track, so the car is ready to go, and when we can focus on strategy and we can focus on getting the most out of the, the driver, getting the most out of the car, rather than having to worry about the setup.